Good morning people. I just wanted to quickly show you this. Yeah, I broke my camera. So, despite my camera being broken and I cannot see the screen, I'm still going to try and make some videos for you guys on what I'm doing to the bike because you seem to like it. There's a few of you that aren't happy with what I'm doing to an old classic bike, but it's my project, it's what I want to do. I'm in it for the build. Eh. So what I'm planning on doing today is refeeding the engine, play with the tank. I've got to clean out the tank still. I'm going to descale the tank, take off this rear cowl and chop it to make it fit. Do away with the actual seats because this, this is what came with the bike. Nah, I'm alright, thanks. So, let's just crack on, shall we? So this stuff, this stuff, cider vinegar. Apparently, this is good for cleaning out rusty tanks. So I'm going to uh, show you why I want to clean out the tank and put this stuff in. So I don't know if you can see this, but... Yeah. I'll uh, show the inside bit of the cap. Yeah, it doesn't look too good, does it? So, I'm going to close off the tap, get rid of all the rest of the, con get rid of the rest of the old, the old fuel in there, there's not much in there, and then uh, add the vinegar, see what we can do. Oh god, that is strong, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, uh, well... Yeah, it smells like a chippy. A drunk chippy. A drunk chippy. I don't think this is going to fill the tank exactly, but... Luckily, I'm here with my other bottle. Oh. Drink, shall I drink a bit? Oh, I would. <laughs> Try. Ugh. Ah! That wasn't a bit. That was a fair swig. That's like one of Lou's uh, bong chogs. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, it's quite nice actually. Mm. Once you get past the daggers in the throat. This is actually what the um, the Cornish use for race fuel. Cornish race fuel, is that what it is? They put it on fish, chips, and motorbike engines. <laughs> it's great for combustion, yeah. <laughs> Let's uh, give it a slosh. I'm going to leave it like all weekend, I think. Yeah. Come back to no tank. <laughs> I've just put the engine back in. I just wanted to kind of get to grips where, what else we need to do now and start writing a to-do list. You know, they put like three bolts, one bolt there and there's two bolts here just to kind of like keep it in place. The uh, back end is all now complete with spacers and everything is a-okay. I need to kind of now work out, I've got the, all this here which is the brake pedal for the, for the rear disc. I need to work out how I'm mounting this. I know how it works, so I've just got to yeah, figure it all out, a mounting point and so on. So I've uh, bought a cone filter and I just think it looks pretty cool. Honestly, I'm just so excited about this. Like, just look, Monoshock, cone air filter, big open space, which is nothing else is going to be filling it now. Oh yes! So while the tank is, uh, what do we say, marinating? I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Whoa. I'm going to go ahead and start working on this piece. So what I think the best way is, if I kind of put a bit of tape all the way down this and make a mask line, make a centre point, it doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer I can get it perfect, the easier the job will be. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go and do that now. Voila! to the hacksaw.
There has to be an easier way. Here's Jishi. So now we've got this cut, let's go and see how it fits on the bike. Oi. Right, 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 right. Originally, it would have it was sitting like this, which wasn't any good because it was too far back. But when you spread it, they can sit on their own accord. Yeah, I just need to really grind down these notches on the frame and get a better fit. I like this. Visual modifications, I like. That's going to be a total of 8 litres of this cider vinegar in this tank. I'm not sure if you can see. I can't bloody see a thing with this uh, camera. How nasty that is. So, whoop, 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 whoop. So what I'm gonna do now is put some more in. Glug, 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 glug. That's the dog. Hello, dog. Hello, doggo. Look at all that good stuff. Yeah. That is rank. I'm going to leave this for a day, another day or so and then we'll get on focusing and cleaning it out because that obviously, as you can see, that just looks like a really bad curry. Nice. Right, back to the seat. Uh, what I've been doing is, I'm having to grind down these, I'll show you this side. So you can see here, this side, this bit that sticks out. I'm not too sure what this mount is for but it's nothing that I need any, anymore anyway. So. Um, on this side I have ground it down so I can uh, get a better fit, more of a snug line. Perfect! Pretty happy with that. Let me get you a closer shot. So that's what we're kind of looking at now. Pretty damn happy with that. So that's how the old girl's looking so far. Sorry, I'm just daydreaming on camera. So in the, not the last video, but the video before, I asked some of you, uh, I asked what colour do you reckon I should paint it? Some of you said white, some of you said uh, Irish green, which I thought was actually a pretty cool idea. Uh, someone said a uh, go original Honda colours, which actually kind of made me think. Basically, I've got three, three ideas. The fir uh, first idea, which was going to be black, gloss black tank, uh, burgundy red seat with a gunmetal grey frame, that's idea number one, that was my first idea. Number two would be a light powder blue, tan seat, gunmetal grey frame, or now this third option which is the red. Red tank, Honda red tank, gunmetal grey frame, black seat. In the, leave in the comments which one do, do you reckon I should go for? So at this point now you can actually see how it's gonna kind of like pan out. I like it, I like it a lot. <sighs> Right, so I've kind of left this for a little bit longer than I expected. But that can't be a bad thing, can it? Let's have a look. So that's what the inside's looking like right now. Absolutely horrible. I'm gonna go take this outside, find a container to dump all this in, and let's have a look. Uh, should we go and just have a look what's left, I guess? So I'm kind of interested to see how this has gone. Um, looking at it, it's pretty bad. But it's cleaned up nice inside, that's the main thing, so... Uh, hopefully this bucket will be big enough for all this, so... Let's just get on and uh, empty it out, shall we? Oh! That looks like the morning after the night before. Yeah. That is the what came out of my tank. You know that looks bad. I think that's pretty much like a layer on top. 
Yeah, that's what you don't want going through your carb into your engine, do you? So I'm glad I've cleaned that out. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is fill it with distilled water, slosh it around, get all rid of get rid of the last little bit of the uh, the vinegar and the rust. Um, add some more in with some baking so, um, bicarbonate of soda, not baking powder. Yes, I accidentally bought baking powder, yeah. and that should be fine. Distilled water. So well, for the last bit, I'm just going to a few tablespoons of this in with the water. Uh, fill it up as much as I can, and then uh, that should be enough. And then all I've got to do is just clean up the outside of the tank. Baking soda. Oh, I've got baking soda. Glug 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 glug. Right, I'm going to put the cap on, give it a massive swill around. Open up the taps, let it run through the tap a little bit, and then tip the rest of the contents out through the top. Yeah, this tank's in a bad way, but I'll do whatever I can to kind of bring it back. So that there, my friends, is how I have cleaned up my tank. I've kind of started messing with the seat, I've put a little plate on so I can hold it together. Uh, we've got to this point now, I'm going to leave this video here because I'm rambling on a little bit. It's not been the most exciting video, but you know, these are processes that we have to go through. If I'm going to show you this build, I'm going to show you every little detail of this build. So, As always, leave a like, that always helps. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace!